Technical corner today, I'm gonna to talk about stock control with Jeff from PSL Day Track. And it's not just your bar, is it? There's a number of different components. Not at all. You've got, well, you've got component stocks, so finished components, you've got the raw material stocks, and you've got tool stocks. Right, so three elements. So talk me through the three different elements then. Well, component stocks, that could be uh, your intention making for stock, it could be overruns. Either way, you've got to manage how much stock you're holding for customers. It could be, uh, there's gonna be call-off orders associated, but you've got to manage that value. Right. Um, so that stock sitting on my shelf is costing me money, essentially. It's costing you money, but it may also save you money in terms of efficiency, um, so you don't have to set the machine for a small batch. Uh, okay, so rather than doing 50 off, it's actually more efficient for, to do 500 off and hold that stock. It's more efficient. You've got to put your commercial judgment on it. Okay. What about my bar and my raw material? Well, your raw materials, so many people have material left over from yeah. previous batches. If you can identify the material, you know you've got it, you can reuse it. If you can't, that's obviously just a waste of money. Um, you've got the issues now with material prices rocketing. The more stock you've got is probably a better price than what you're going to buy now. Um, so again, you're going to, you've got to mitigate the risk of waiting for material, the cost of it, mm. together with what you're going to be holding in stock. Okay, so I'm never going to run out of material again? You can set minimum quantities of right. key materials. So something you frequently use, make sure you keep a minimum quantity. Okay. Specials, you're going to order those based on the order. Okay, and we've got a nice short video, well, section from the video where we popped in to see the guys from Hydrofeed because, well, they're going to tell us how many components they actually have to manufacture or manage. Yeah, currently on the shop floor now, we're in excess of four to 500 components. So as you can imagine, we're trying to trace, track, order materials, organize treatments for all those jobs that are running currently. That sounds like an absolute logistical nightmare, but PSL Daytrack smoothed it all out. It, it entirely smoothed everything out on that side of the business, um, from quoting to works orders, through to component stock to material stocks. We've done a number of technical corners, and the theme is it's all simplifying it and making it a lot, lot easier for me. And these guys, I mean, four to 500, but we had another one. Was it A&R? How many components? How many devices? about 27,000 stock lines. Wow, so controlling that, but this does it all for them. It certainly does, yeah. Okay, and so we've mentioned your raw material, your finished components, one other item. You've got tools as well, so it's all well and good saying, right, you've got the materials in place, you've got the machine available, you've got it ready to go. If you don't have the tools the machine needs, yep. the machine's gonna sit there doing nothing, which is losing you money. Okay, so you'll keep control of that. Does it link in with vend systems? Well, yeah, we've got tool setup sheets, yep. so you can identify the tools you're gonna need for a job, estimated tool life and so on. That can then forecast how many tools you need for that job. It can then cross-reference the, the counts you've got of each tool you've got in stock. That in turn can be interfaced to tool vending machines so you get the physical quantity visible within data track. Brilliant, okay, so there, there you have it. Raw material, components, tooling, all manageable amounts, making sure you're cash, well, cash effective, really. It is, yeah, you've got to have a certain surplus in order to keep the business running, but yeah. not too much. Jeff, there you have it controlling your different levels of stock and different items of stock to make sure you're running really lean and really efficient. Thank you very much. Thank you.